So the Plattia update came out last month and you've probably been seeing a lot of Armin. So let's talk about the Delane in the room. Spoilers ahead. Armin, what a guy. The moody half man, half demon Delane that turned his back on you and the firing only to walk straight into the very, very questionable embrace of Carmine. Let's talk about where he's been and the newest place you can go in Arcasia. For those that need to throw it way, way back, Armin was first introduced to you as a priest who joined you to help save Arcasians and protect the Ark. But it quickly became clear that Armin was harboring an unholy power as a secret Delane and fighting to contain his demonic form. He used this power to help fight for good, but the more he used it, the trickier his control became. At Lost Wind Cliff, Sacrian Executor Solis launched an attack on an innocent group of people, and Armin wasn't strong enough to save them. Broken emotionally, Armin let his rage take over and murdered all of the assailants, because two wrongs definitely make a right. Despite you and Thyrene coming to save the day like you always do, Armin refused to return home with his two best friends, instead fully embracing his Delane form and Carmine. <clears throat> Not romantically, probably. From here, you probably moved on like a normal person, continued playing Lost Ark, and didn't consider Armin for a while until you found yourself randomly on Promise Isles. Here, Bard Allegro used the melodies from Armin's memories to give you a glimpse about what he's been up to. Turns out that while you were off saving the world or whatever, unimportant, Armin was traveling across Arcasia with his new best friend, Carmine, on a grand tour of all of the horrible things humans do. Despite being replaced, Allegro assures you that you still are the light for Armin, even as he quite literally battles his own demons. And he tells you that you will cross paths again someday. I guess that seems legit, since Allegro has showed off how OP of a bard he is before. But one thing that Allegro didn't tell you was that Carmine had convinced Armin to meet Kazaros and learn the truth of the world, which is apparently not as it seems. But you moved forward as always and eventually found yourself in Elgatia, where Armin finally decided to make an actual appearance. With Carmine in tow, surprise, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, these two helped you face off against L'Oreal and save Elgatia to find the last arc. When the battle ends and after some other extremely important and relevant plot points happen that we're not gonna bother to get into here, Armin returns to the side of a cliff to brood. He seems to have a thing with cliffs given what happened on Lost Wind. Here he calls you old friend and proceeds to grunt at you for several minutes before finally lamenting about the past. Talk about giving mixed signals and being a fair weather friend. If this were a real relationship, I'd probably tell you to give it up because there is no way this is healthy. Not to mention the whole keeping the whole world from falling apart thing you're actually trying to accomplish. But because Allegro the Bard told us not to let go, it's now time to adventure to Plechia where Armin grew up. We've had about enough of him and his weird grunting in the present. So it's time to learn about his past in this land of art and romance where his trail has finally led to. Cheers to Armin. God, can we cut to commercial? Cut to commercial.